What is going on everybody? Sylvania1012 here and I'm just giving you a little channel update on what the fuck is going on in my mind lately. Um, towards my channel and everything, like lately, it's like, yeah, I haven't been posting too much because of chaos and mayhem, fucking that stupid shit with Hurricane Matthew, my regards to the families that have been hit really fucking hard. I am... Like, we, we lucked out where I lived and everything and a bunch of other places. Like, we've lucked out and everything, but they scared the living fucking shit out of us and had no idea what the fuck they were talking about on the news. Anyway, but that's not what this channel update is about. Channel update is about on um, the bullshit show. The bullshit show is going to be no more after this month. This month is going to be the last month for the bullshit show. Now, you might be asking, okay, what, what the fuck is going on? Why is there going to be no more bullshit show? Well... To be quite honest, it doesn't really feel like my show. Or something along the lines of really Bear's show. Because we talk about things that he doesn't really know how to like, keep the conversation going. Unless he's completely fucking drunk like on the last show. But, um, which is fine and dandy. But if he has to be fucking drunk off his ass and everything just to be enjoyable to participate in the show, no. I, I don't go for that. But also, it's not really fair to him, and it's not fair to me. But another thing that this bullshit show was actually an idea that I pitched to him to have on his channel. It started off on his channel. It should have stayed on his channel. But he said, oh, it's your idea. It should go, it should, you should be hosting it on your channel. But honestly, it doesn't really feel like my sh type of show. I'm comfortable talking about that, all that kind of things and everything, but... Um... It just... Yeah... It's not really my thing. And another thing that I discussed with Bear about, that I'm going to tell you guys, I actually want to create my own audience. Most of you guys are really fucking cool. You're really fucking chill. I like a lot of you guys. But there's just some people I don't particularly care for. And unfortunately, Bear, I'm sorry. You have that, that crumb side baggage still hanging on. That I don't want any part of. So this is like my reasoning. I want to build my own audience. I want to... Basically, I feel like I'm in Bear Hugger's shadow. If that makes any sense to you guys. It was very hard for me to even, like, uh, say a lot of this to Bear because when I was typing it, I was fucking bawling my eyes out because I'm a girl. It's that time of the month. I'm emotional. It's almost that time of the month again. You guys have been warned. Anyway. TMI? Yeah, I think that was probably TMI. Sorry. Someone's getting triggered. Fuck, I hate that word. <laughs> it's, like, almost as bad. Eh, actually, it's not as bad as the word moist. That just sounds fucking hilarious. But anyway, but yeah, but I am going to still have podcasts. Like, I don't mind being on his Bear Chills if he wants me to come on there. It's not going to be as frequent because I want to dedicate my time to my channel. I want to grow my audience. I don't want to be in a shadow anymore. I don't game as often as he does, but I do game. Let's get my internet fixed. Um, at this point, I'm probably going to be rambling or whatever, but here's the big update. It's like, okay, throwing away the bullshit show, I'm going to be bringing back the Lude Lounge. The Lude Lounge was like a pilot fucking podcast that I did with Anna and Nako chan Um, a lot of people did enjoy that. Granted, um, that was the weirdest fucking episode ever. If you guys have not seen that particular podcast between us, mind you, it's a little old. I will link it down in the description down below so you guys can see what it's about but like I said it was like a pilot episode but who the hell knows what we're going to be doing now the thing is with the lewd lounge I'm not going to expect it's not going to be always like an all girls thing not at all um with the lewd lounge it, it could be all three of us in there it could be just two of us in there it could be just me and Nico Chan or it could be just me and uh Anna or it could be just me whether or not, like, if I can get either of them, because schedules conflict and everything and all that jazz, it will happen. And that is basically going to be replacing the bullshit show. 
So I really do hope that you guys can um, just tell me what you think, because like I said, I'm going to link down the, uh, the um, <laughs> I'm going to throw the link down below in the description so you guys can check out um, what the Lude Lounge was all about. It's just completely fucking random, but it would, it will get better once I get my uh, internet fixed. So they'll probably we'll probably be playing games or whatever. Me inter and then we'll still be interacting with you guys because that's the main purpose of like my particular podcast. I like to interact with others. At the time when I'm silent, I'm reading what you guys are saying. You guys come out with some funny shit, and I really like that. Everybody needs a good laugh. But word of warning: if I find a fucking asshole in that chat, I will not hesitate to throw down the ban hammer. I want my moderators to know that they can throw the fucking ban hammer. All right, three strikes, you're out. Unless it's really fucking bad, instant ban. I'm not gonna fucking play around with this shit. It's my channel, my hobby. This is not the way I make money. It's just for us to all have a good time. If you guys happen to have any questions, I just hit my computer desk like an idiot. If you guys got any questions, hit me up. Hit me up on Twitter. Send me a message on YouTube. I really should check those. I actually haven't checked those in for fucking ever. I don't even think I even get notifications for that shit anymore. Anyway. Just give me your thoughts. Because I've given you mine. And that's all I ask for. And I do appreciate everybody that has been my 200 plus subscribers that have like stuck around for this long when I hardly like do anything on my channel except talk. And some random fucking Resident Evil shit with Nako. But yeah. I really do appreciate you guys hanging around for this long. You guys are fucking awesome. Stay awesome. You got this far because you are awesome. Peace.